Hello everybody, my name is uh, Doorknob Dave. I'm here to discuss a very important uh, door related subject with you all and with me I have... Introduce yourself. I'm um, Handel Harold. Handel and, uh, Harold. And today we're going to be um, having a discussion on... Um, uh, well it's a quite an important subject in um, the door kingdom. Um, I'll let... Um, uh, Doorknob Dave, uh, actually do the explaining, though. So, in our community here, we call it the Door Kingdom, because it really makes us feel a bit royal, you know? Um, there's been much debate lately as to whether or not door handles count as, uh, doorknobs. And, uh, I thought, you know, as a doorknob enthusiast myself, um, and Harold here being a handle enthusiast, obviously, uh, we could discuss whether or not uh, door handles and doorknobs are interchangeable. So, handle Harry, I, I just want to know before we start, like, what, what's your perspective on uh, um, on this issue? Oh no, it's all right. I'll let you go first. As someone who's been into doorknobs for all his ni- life, you know, I just love how round they are, and I love the fact that you can you know, grasp it with your palm and twist, you know, the doorknob, and it opens the door. Um, I just want to set some ground rules for this conversation. As to what a door is, you know, um, from Wikipedia, a door is a hinged or otherwise movable barrier that allows ingress into or egress from an enclosure. The opening in a wall is a doorway or a portal. So essentially, a door knob or door handle is what allows the opening or closing of um, such barrier. Um, would you agree with that definition, Harold? Um, for now I will, but I'd just like to point out for the moment, um, by that definition, a gate would also be a door, and that's also a topic up for debate, but, uh, for the moment, we'll just go with that. I mean, it did say from an, an, an enclosure, um, an opening from a wall, so, well, um, would that not what's an enclosure? count as not a You could say that, uh, sorry, you go, Dave. That's okay. I mean, I think, I feel like this might be a debate for another day as what counts as a door, um, we really want to focus on the little thing sticking out of the door at the moment. Wouldn't you yes, agree? Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I do agree with that, actually. So, as you know, there are many methods of opening doors. Um, those beautiful objects that let us in to and out of our homes, uh, our workplaces. Um, but, you know, some, some of them have doorknobs. Some of them have handles. Uh, and some people think that, you know, door handles should count as doorknobs. Um, personally, I think, you know, handles are handles, you know, and knobs, you know, they're knobs, they're rounded knobs that must be gripped onto, you know, as a round shape and pulled open. Well, would, would you agree or disagree, Howard? Well, I actually... I'm not sure. It depends how you define knob, because if you, if by definition a knob has to be round, then I'd agree that a handle is a different uh, category to a to a knob. But if you don't define it that way, if you define it as anything capable of opening the door, door knob, anything capable of opening the door, then handles are just as valid as of a object that fits that description. So it really all comes down to the definition. So. In, in my opinion, uh, you can also have uh, shapes that aren't round or handle-shaped. Like, you could have a square doorknob if you want, like a cube. Mm. And there's, there's no rules against that. It's just that society isn't open to ideas like that. They're only for, the, uh, for people that really are into doorknobs. Uh, but, if you again, if you define a doorknob as round, then a square doorknob would not be a doorknob. It would be a door something else that we don't have the word for, uh, again, due to society's lack of openness to such things. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Well, so, yeah. basically, my, my oh, opinion sorry. is it depends how you... Def- sorry, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, my opinion is basically it depends how you define it, and um, how would I define it? I guess we'll come to that after I hear your response. You know, I mean, the dictionary definition of a knob is a rounded lump of ball, but I do think that it is a bit closed off. I do like to see strangely 
you know, shaped doorknobs. But, you know, doorknobs and door handles, they're very, very different um, in shape. So, you know, one is more cylindrical or maybe not even cylindrical, maybe more rectangular and more like a prism, while the other one seems to be more contained in one small volume. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I'd agree with what you just said uh, about the differences between them. However, it becomes less and less clear which is which when you get into the Im- intermediates. Like, what if you have a rectangular doorknob that twists around its central ac- uh, central point as the axis? Mm. Is that a doorknob or a door handle? Because a doorknob ha- uh, has to be round and rotate around a central axis. Uh, maybe it doesn't have to be round anymore. You could exclude that from the definition, and then that mm. would be a doorknob. If a door handle has to be a prism, well, that fits that description as well. So see how once you get to the intermediates, the definitions become all blurred and we just don't have the words to describe these things anymore. So it becomes much more of a confusing uh, idea to discuss once you uh, include things outside of the socially defined norms of what what each of those are. Mm -hmm. Listen, um, like it also... I will agree with you on that point. It does get confusing, it especially gets confusing once we start getting into knobs and handles that don't turn. Um, some doors have fixed knobs and handles in which you just push or pull. It's only a point in which for your hand to grab. So at that point, do we count those as doorknobs in our collections? If we're if we're strictly talking about you know um, locking doorknobs that that lock the door and keep them closed, or are we talking about all knobs? that extrude from a door that allows you to latch onto it um, or all handles that allow you to latch onto the door and not necessarily turn. As you know, there are turning door handles, but there are also fixed ones. Yeah, yeah, I see. I actually really like that point that you made about um, door handles that you don't actually have to turn because some handles, yeah, you can just push and pull them. So that completely changes the game up because, um, well... That's something that's again outside of the traditional definitions. So I've got to, we've got to be open to these new concepts that we don't really have the words mm-hmm. for. That's my central mm-hmm. point so far, anyway. What about you handles? Agree? I agree with you on that point, but it also comes down to like, what about the type of handles that cover the entirety of the door? You know, the ones that you push open. Um, they're usually on shop doors. Uh, when you're exiting, you push the handle inwards, and they cover like. They go across the whole door and it lets you open. It lets you push the door open. Like, do those should those be counted as doorknobs um, or even door traditional door handles, or should it only be if they're a certain size, which takes up a certain fixed volume? Like most doorknobs are pretty small in comparison, um, but door handles seem to range to around the same size, around the same volume as a traditional doorknob. Or much larger to the point where can you really consider it a knob anymore? You've just been giving more and more examples to confirm what I'm saying. There are door knobs and door handles which don't actually fit with our traditional definition. So we need to we need to have a serious discussion on how, what are we going to refer to these things as, because there are intermediates that don't actually fit into any of the traditional categories. Mm-hmm. So you're saying that we should um, consider all types, all methods. We should have one fixed definition for all methods of opening a door, and maybe we should just consider any method of opening a door a doorknob. Um, potentially, we have to have definitions. We have to have words set up that can talk about these things without any confusion. Like, for example, all of those things that you were saying before, like the door handles that you don't twist. We need to have a word that can refer to that without having to over explain yourself so you can identify for example like between me and you like i'm i collect door handles you collect door knobs Mm -hmm. um what if somebody just collects the door handles that don't turn we need to have a word for those things which doesn't exist yet we need to come up with this new language as i keep saying that can refer to these objects that we don't we just don't have the we just don't have the words for as you might know, as a door handle enthusiast and myself as a door knob enthusiast, you might know that there is some rift between our communities. There are some elitists on both sides that are do despise each other. Do you reckon that maybe considering um, giving more definitions for more types of 
door opening devices uh, would create further divisions and further rifts. Like maybe the fixed door knob no, community would become not. more elitist than the fixed door handle community. Absolutely not. The more open that you have that uh, that society becomes to understanding new definitions of new types of door opening devices, the more open minded will become, and the less elitism will continue to arise. I, I harshly disagree with that. I think it's a foolish idea. So instead of um, you know homogenizing everything into one definition like everything that opens a door a doorknob you're, you're saying that we should create tons of definitions for every minor feature of a door well yeah device. exactly yeah we just need to have an education system that accounts for these things so that people can actually understand that there's more than just knobs and handles there's lots and lots of different uh different um door opening devices like, as i keep saying like we just need to have the language so that society be can become more open-minded and understand that there's more than exists than our traditional language describes i see um we are getting a call in from a viewer um can uh can you patch that through all right all right here here is the caller uh take it away uh, what do you have to say about the people who are I've been fans of the door knockers because I don't think I've heard of you mentioning any of that. That's a really good question. What do you think, Harold? Well, I think um, I'm glad that you've pointed out that there's actually something other than knobs and doors because they're the two most popular communities within the you know door opening devices uh, kingdom, as we as we say. Um, identifying that there's knockers and that that is a viable way of op opening doors like knocking on it to get someone to let you in that's a that's a third category that most people don't even consider so i'm really glad that uh you brought that up mm. is it considered a door knob though you know that's an interesting question though because like in the door knob community especially there are some people who are very elitist about um door knocker enthusiasts because you're not actually opening the door uh with the knocker you're getting someone else to use a door opening device like a knob or a handle to open the door for yes. you um so exactly, some yes. people think that it takes away from the joy of opening a door as we all know there is some euphoria that us uh, door enthusiasts in the door kingdom feel when we open a door and there's a a new opportunity behind it as we say um that we can explore and and some people do exactly. think that the door knocker or doorbell especially there are some doorbell enthusiasts out there i have met a few um they do think that detracts from it i personally think that you know whatever adds to the door experience you know um is welcome in my opinion and you know it might it, it i might not consider a door knocker a doorknob per se but i do think it is a genuine you know door experience the great thing about the door knocker is that you can actually some on some doors you can use it to open the door as well. Ah yes, yes, I see what you mean. Like um, lion door knockers, especially they they have very big handles, and if it is a pull door, you can pull it open. Anyway, thank you for calling in, caller. I hope you have a good day. Well, that's a that was that was an interesting point. That was an interesting point. Um, you know, there's a lot to, <laughs> there's a lot to consider, but you know, I will say myself, you know, any protrusions out of doors, they're cool. I'm personally more of a fan of knobs, but you know what? I just can cannot stand in the dawn, uh, door ki kingdom, um, Harold is, uh, automatic doors and, uh, sensors. It's an absolute disgrace. What, what, what are your opinions on those? Well, I have quite, I, I have, I do have strong opinions on them, but you got to remember, our key topic is: Are door handles considered door knobs? We are getting sidetracked. I'm very, I'm very sorry. We are very getting sidetracked. Um, I, we've been really talking about. Do I mean, I love doors. I could just talk about doors all day, <laughs> can't you, Harold? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But um, really, we've got to, we've got to make sure that we stay on topic. So um, I wanna, I wanna say a few things about automatic doors. They don't have handles or knobs. So what would you call the opening device? You could call it a door sensor. Mm -hmm. Perhaps that would be f be fulfilling. But, but again, most people don't have the answer immediately stick out to them in an obvious way. So it just hammers home my central point again. Mm -hmm. We need to have 
an education system that introduces language that covers all of these different facets of door opening devices. So mm-hmm. anyway, um, that's my answer to the question, are door knobs considered door handles? I think it's just a matter of language and our lack of um, our lack of terms to address these things like that that causes the confusion. That's that's really that's really what I think. And what- if are you worried though that if we start considering door handles knobs that it would detract from the handle experience? As I, I know you're very much an enthusiast of handles. If we start more, you know, homogenizing things together into one sort of community about door opening devices, um, are you worried yeah, that? So- it's, it, are you worried that we're going to get a bit of, you know, what I mean? What are your opinions on knobs compared to handles? Okay, okay, okay. I see. Um, I'm personally, obviously, a handle. Uh, I have a preference for handles. A but, handler, um, handler. Yeah. Yes, yes. But knobs are also good. Mm-hmm. They're they're fine. But I just prefer handles. That's um, that's just uh, a personal opinion. I won't try and uh, inflict that on anyone else though. Mm-hmm. What do I think of merging the communities? Well, if you call a door handle, a doorknob, then in a sense, it might encourage the communities to merge together. And I'm all for um, acceptance and like fair treatment of all opinions and all of that. But if you consider it just one big community, then it really detracts from the the from the key principle that we can have different preferences. You know? Mm, I guess. What, what so. do you think? Do you think it? Do you think it does that? Maybe. I, I do find, though, that, like, I'm a little bit worried, you know, if we, you know, keep things separate. We might, you know, there has been some hate thrown to either side, you know. Like, I've seen some door handlers, you know, some handlers, they've thrown some shade at some of my doorknob boys. Um, I'm sure that there have been knobs who mm. have really ripped you guys um, for preferring, you know, the more rectangular experience. I don't know. What are your thoughts on, yes. on that? How, how can well, we... If we're, gonna, if, we're gonna cont- though, if we're gonna continue more... Um, if we're gonna co- if we're gonna have more definitions for more different types of, you know, door handles, fixed doorknobs, fixed door handles, turning door handles, turning doorknobs, um, door sensors... Um, how do you think we could solve the potential issue of elitism and, um, you know, stopping the hatred from well, spreading? Obviously, obviously, door hate's not a good phenomenon. We don't, we don't want any more door hate. But um, I think that creating new definitions will actually reduce the hatred rather than increase it. Because as I said, as soon as there's more and more acceptance of more and more of these different categories that people don't traditionally think of, that creates open-mindedness, and then we have a community that accepts each other rather than hates. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Do you think that'll happen? That's potentially w- what would happen, though I am concerned it's going to be a slow process. What, be, just, just because the fact is we do have a little bit of... Um, we have quite a bit of division at the moment, and... Mm. You know, I'm just worried we could escalate it, or potentially, you know, it 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 might take some time for this to to cool off. It it, it might, and that's that's really that really is a valid point. We don't know how long it will take, mm-hmm. uh, for open mindedness in the door community to take a, take a foothold. But what other choice do we have but to attempt? Mm-hmm. Um, I think we should take in another caller. Or uh, what do you think, Harold? Uh, I I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't think so? No, 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 no callers. One call. Enough. We'll we'll take we'll take one caller per per our discussion. I think. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. So but can I just point out? Hold on. Before you ask me another question, I've noticed that throughout this entire discussion, I've been offering all my opinions, but I haven't heard very much from you. I just hear questions from my opinions. What's your actual opinion on the key topic, which is are door handles door knobs? See, I. I am a doorknob enthusiast. I love myself around doorknob, right? And that's why I'm doorknob Dave. But, yeah. listen, I love door handles, right? But, yeah, I can't be 
door fixture, Dave. I I want to be doorknob, Dave, and I love. Listen, I'm thinking if a doorknob is small enough. I mean, if a door handle is small enough, if it's not one of those giant handles that you see on some of those exit doors, especially in like fire escapes and stuff, if it's not one of those giant handles. If it's a small one on like an office door that can fit in the palm of your hand, that's a doorknob to me, you know? Like, I don't care mm. too much. Yes, I see. Well, it takes to me, actually, I, I do know. agree with that. If you have a door handle that moves towards the doorknob end of things, like, becomes slightly smaller and all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I, I would be willing to call that a doorknob, too. But, as yeah. I keep saying, it's just a matter of language, that, and we just need to have the correct language to address these intermediates. See, the fact is, doorknobs, right, to me, isn't because they're round in shape. I mean, I know that's the definition to most people, but it's because yeah. it's a knob, Stick it out of a door, you know, and some handles aren't, some handles aren't that, right? But a lot of them are, like a lot mm. of door handles are doorknobs. So at that point, are there, is it like a Venn diagram where we have door handles and doorknobs and there's a part in between where they're just the same thing? Or is it more like there's like a hybrid and it's mm. separate from both. And we should call it, I don't know, door, door things. I don't know. What would you call them? Well, I think that's really what I'm trying to say. Well, uh, my, my, well, sorry. My central point is that we should be having this discussion on what do we call these things. And that's really where... The, the, the reason we can't have a clear, definitive answer to the question, are doorknobs, door handles, or... Uh, can door handles be considered doorknobs? The reason that's not a clear answer is because we don't have the language to address the intermediates, as I keep saying. So, what would I call it? Hmm. Well, I think I'm open to hearing many opinions, um, and I think we should we should have a discussion as a society of of, of what to call these things. I don't want to um, inflict my opinion on everyone else's, but uh, if you really want to know my personal opinion, I think I think. Um, we could probably combine the words uh, so as like uh, in- intuition like tells you a bit for the for the people that uh, haven't heard the word before. So how, let's see, what would knob and handle sound like together? Door hob. How about nandle? Or, or hob, yeah, maybe that, that, that could be a useful word, yeah. Door hob. Yeah. Maybe we should call the collective of everything hobs, but then the specifics... Well, that wouldn't be the, really the collective because that only includes handles and knobs, not sensors like we were saying before, like the uh, automatic doors um, and handles that don't turn. Listen, I know this is a bit off topic, but I cannot stand sensors. It just takes the joy of opening the door away, you know what I mean? Well... If I'm honest, I really don't like it either. I prefer to have the hands-on experience. But um, you know, the previous yeah. caller said that they like door knockers, and I mean, people could argue it's the same thing. It's taking the joy of opening the door away, but there's still a physical, you know, movement happening, and there's something you're yes, yes, on, exactly. you Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've been saying that for years. Like, at least you get to do something. Like, it doesn't mm-hmm. just happen for you. Yeah. Yeah. And they're yeah. often really cool looking too. But I'm sorry, we're getting off track, but. I mean, it's, it still comes back to the discussion at the end of the day, like, what what do we call these things, and should we... Yeah, what, what truly is a doorknob? Exactly. What's, what what's the true definition? Handle? What truly is, you know, a door, when you think about it? Because, like, we, even at the beginning of the debate, we are talking about gates. Yeah, exactly. What truly is? Well... All I know is that the handles that I've got uh, are, are what I what I like, and that's 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 what I need. Mm-hmm. Um, so at the end of the day, this doesn't really affect uh, my personal uh, life and collection of door handles, but it still is an interesting uh, thing and, and is worth discussing, especially uh, when we come to. That's another aspect, uh, though, is the collection aspect. I know that, handles. like, if we start changing definitions, how are people going to start treating their collections? Are they going to have to start removing things from their collections? Are they going to have to start buying, like? There are some doorknob enthusiasts, if we start homogenizing everything, they might need to catch up on, um, you know, a centuries worth of, of door handle 
um, memorabilia that they haven't gotten before because they've been focused on the knobs. And if we start, yes, you know, I'm thinking about that. And if we yeah. start separating them, people might start half. People might want to start getting rid of things in their collection, you know, or or if, if they have some things in their collection that they thought was a doorknob, but it turns out it was actually a fixed doorknob. But they don't have a they don't have everything uh, fixed doorknob related. They might also have to start buying all of those. You know what I mean? Well, so yeah, well, let me tell start? you about. Well, uh, one of my friends, uh, Frederick, um, he uh, has a collection of doorknobs like you. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have to introduce you to him one day. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, actually, after we finish the broadcast. Um, I'll give you uh, contact details. Anyway, um, he, he has a collection of doorknobs like you, the traditional doorknobs, like so the round ones, not, uh, not anything like door handles or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But... Um, if we suddenly redefine knob to mean to include handles, then mm -hmm. suddenly his collection is incomplete. It doesn't have any of a specific type of knob as yeah, we yeah. newly defined it. That's and that's that's really what what you were saying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just it could automatically make people's collections change in their meaning or value, and we just mm -hmm. don't know what will mm -hmm. happen. What should um What should a person like me though, who who finds some door handles? good for my collection but sometimes gets ostracized by the larger knob community um for having them in my collection um because i just feel that they are close enough to a doorknob to be collectible as you know some handles mm. like the bigger handles i just don't think are close enough what should i um do in that case if i want to collect some handles because they are very much like doorknobs and make my doorknob collection feel more complete you know um yeah how I should see, i, I go about um doing that well you could say you're a doorknob and handle collector if we go by one defi definition but if we change it that could be a pro actually as a counter argument to what mm -hmm. i was just uh for, for what i was talking about with frederick before mm -hmm. um yeah so there's pros and cons to change but if i definition. collect see if, if i start saying that i am a handle collector though there are certain you know pieces of handle history that i i just do not have and i, I have no interest in collecting mm -hmm. them and um and so it's like uh, are some staples of my collection just a waste you know at this point um because we mm, aren't yeah. we can't classify it as a doorknob anymore yeah that's true you um, know what? i don't know about that one what do you think it's uh whew, you know it keeps me up at night sometimes um to me you know it's it, even just the idea that we could separate you know turning doorknobs from fixed ones you know it's terrifying because a lot of door handles i've gotten because they are turning door handles and that's why they're very similar to knobs mm. but if there are differences in that like i don't know how i'm going to go about making my collection seem a bit more you know complete in that case well um it seems to me that um, if you were to define doorknob, if you had your way, you would call it uh, something that turns, because it, what seems to appeal to you is the turning aspect. A lot of, a lot of, of it the is the turning handle. aspect. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, I see. Yep. Even if it doesn't turn in a horizontal fashion, like I don't know, there aren't many doorknobs that turn in the other way. You know what I mean? Um, but even those are kind of cool. You know, like latches. The door latches, door locks, you know, they turn, yeah, they're on yeah. doors. Some doors have latches, but they don't have knobs or handles. See, mm. we're getting into territory I haven't even explored yet. I just thought of that, and now I'm feeling like I need to... I'm feeling like I'm missing out on 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 decades of, of door memorabilia right here. Yeah. Gosh, this just gets, keeps getting more and more complex. I just can't wrap my head around some of these things this is honestly probably the greatest issue f um facing um us in the year 2020 you know what i mean well us meaning the doorknob community or i i, I don't know the if it applies to society as whole at whole because i mean they just don't understand you know what it's like to be a knob head like us no exactly. or a handle head well, yeah. yeah or <laughs> dude i love it when you just put it hit your hand on a good handle you know what i mean yeah, or it's, even, it's, on, it's a, even on a, a good of, knob. Had a lot of fun here. Yeah. yeah. Um. No, honestly, no. It's just one of those like issues because like that's just it's one of the biggest issues 
of of the year. Like there it hasn't been anything more um divisive this year, in my opinion. It's just Yeah, mm. it's crazy. I, I can't think of one thing that's happened this year that's been more divisive well, than this debate. The Doorknob community just doesn't know what to make of it. You're right. Mm. Or not even just the doorknob, just the door kingdom in general, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly, um, yeah. You know? Mm. I, I will say, handles and knobs are probably the closest links to each other. I mean, I know there are factions yeah. within each other that don't like you, don't like either or, but, you know, we're definitely better off than the, um, the sensor community. Um, don't like oh, those guys. Yeah, automatic doors are just like Absolute they're just they're rubbish. just ruining the community. Honestly, yeah. like if I like if I can just say that, you know, I like no to filter. feel like I'm in control of my door. You know, I don't yeah. like it when it does it for me. Okay, so mm. yeah, yeah. The 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 people that are like the automatic doors, they just they just want to have the door do it for them. Like they have no uh, investment in doing it themselves. It's just, they, I don't like it when people say they're door enthusiasts, okay? And yeah. they have an automatic door. Listen, you're not an enthusiast of the door. You just need the door to be a door. You don't like being in control. You don't know how your door works. It, all that stuff. So, at least we just can agree people, on that. Like, it's just for incompetent people. They just don't... Well, they just don't understand. Just can't grasp the concepts of what it's like to grasp a handle. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Harold, or I think, not. you know, this is probably, you know, a discussion that's never going to have a clear answer. Like, yeah, there's never going to be right, a clear yeah. solution. But I think what the Door Kingdom could get out of it is, you know, peace between us is what's going to keep the Door Kingdom strong. Even yeah. if we don't like each other's uh, methods of opening doors, uh, we should all, you know, agree that opening doors is a good thing to do. Yeah, it is, yeah. We can all agree on that for sure. And we should just focus on the things that keep us, uh, connect us together, not the things that divide us, like whether it's a door, door knob or a door handle, like that. They're just the differences, like the many differences. It, it, all together, though, we, we all are just passionate when, about doors. Whether it be a door handle or a door knob or one of those weird metal plates on the door that you push to push the door open. Um, you know, as long as it's something that's mechanized that you can put your hand onto and push, you know, it's good in my opinion, except for sensors. Um, we can all agree on that. But I think we should conclude the show there. I mean... <laughs> yeah, look, we're, like, we can just go back and forth and... We're just going uh, in circles, you know? 100 tangents. Yeah, yeah, yeah sort of. Doors but, have existed since like, the ancient Greeks... So, yeah, yeah, you know, we, we, we we'll just never be able to settle on it because it's just a matter matter of language, and ultimately we can just all be open minded and uh, accept each other's interests, regardless of whether a doorknob is a door handle. Truly, mm -hmm. so it's just while it is an interesting uh, topic to debate and discuss, go back and forth. Well, at, at least we're sitting here together, you know, talking about it. Where you know, there's a community. It's nice. Mm -hmm. And you know what they say, you know, when one door closes, another one opens. You know. And I just want to yeah. close on that note. It's a good note. And uh, I hope that we can, you know, open and close doors for many years to come, Harold. Yep. Yep. Whether it be knob, handle, or anything else except sensors, we're all a community. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we should wrap up the show there. What do you think, Harold? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Door! Knob enthusiast, door handle enthusiast, door kingdom, brothers and sisters. I just want to say it's been your host, Doorknob Dave, with my guest. Um, handle Harold. Handle Harold. And I want to let you guys know to smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell if you like turning doorknobs, door handles, or opening doors in general. And... Comment below what's your favorite method of opening doors. Please do not comment if you enjoy automatic doors. What would you like to yeah, say, Harold? I, I agree with that. Yeah, thank just thanks for being part of the community. Honestly, like that's that's just what it's all about, really. Mm -hmm. In the end, Harold, 
Um, Harold's channel is in, in the description below. And remember everyone, um, the doorknobs have eyes and are watching you. Goodbye!